comments. This is Daniel White. Please stand. You don't have to walk. You don't have to walk. We uh, hadn't done anything to Janie uh, since she had a surgery. And she had a back surgery and she, the tornado destroyed her home. So we did get some. I think she's already got part of it. But this is what we took up this morning from the ushers. And this is from us personally. Each usher on the floor, each usher on the floor, has given something that we want you to have. Even though you already got something. But it's supposed to have been done today, but it got crossed up. <laughs> but anyway, this is from us.
Father God, now Lord, we open that time with you, God. And oh Lord, I follow when you the call, we'll answer. Help all of us to do it. Not my will, but that time with really you, God. All these rest requests we ask in Jesus' name. And the saints of God say, Amen, Amen.
would you be considered a real team player? Third that place sports, if you only gave 50% instead of 100%, you'd probably be sitting on the bench. Come on, talk to me here. If you expect the miracle of everything, it's all. Don't talk to me here. Jesus, I'll go back to this. Didn't say stow up some treasures on earth and some treasures in heaven. He said, don't stow up on earth, but do stow up in heaven. That was it. It wasn't a 50 50 deal. It was a zero and a 100. Now, there's nothing wrong with the word of you. God gives us material things to enjoy. But where's your heart? Our heart can't be geared 50% towards self delegation and 50% towards Christ delegation. Don't talk to me. Uh, it's either all or that. Jesus said, I'm going to take my time. No man can serve two masters. For either he will hate the one and love the other, talk to him, or else he will hold to one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and man. Is that right? In all the revelation, we find that it said that. Because thou art lukewarm, and neither cold nor hot, I will spill thee out of my mouth. I'm going to talk to you. It's either all or never. I'm going to talk to you. Jesus offers us his offer. In John 10 and 10, the thief comes only to steal. Kill and destroy. But I have come, that word, that they may have life and have life to the full. Is that right? Jesus decided to give us all their evil. He has come that we may have life in the full. But when we are half-hearted, when we only give 50%, we allow the devil to steal that fullness of life from us. Preach your life. Satan is trying to convince us that the fullness of life is found in having the best of both worlds. Come on, talk to me here. Satan is saying, hell, you okay? And eat it too. But Satan is a liar. He wants to keep us, I'm going to take my time here, from experiencing the fullness of life. Through one of the prayers of Satan, it's like Miller Beer. He offers us the high life. Come on, talk to you. I know somebody drunk some beer. Now, the bottom line is, and I'm going to finish here. Let's look at this man. Let's look at his stature. His status. Uh -huh. All three gospels. Right tells us this man was rich. Matthew tells us that he was young. Hello, somebody. He lived a life of pillage. The world was his. Everything he wanted was well in his reach. He had a position. Uh -huh. This probably means he was an influential leader. Uh -huh. He had prestige. Uh -huh. and, 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 and if you're rich, you got prestige. He lived a good life. I won't talk to him. People all over the region probably looked up to this young, rich, more religious leader. Somebody can drive up in a jalopy. Folks will pay no attention. Uh, 
to drive up in an SLA, a Lamborghini, a brand new vehicle. And folks will pay them attention. The other day I heard it said, everybody wants a fast car. Our young folks want either, talk to me, a Mustang, a Dodge Charger, a Camara, a Dodge Challenger. Come on, talk to me. All of them want a fast car. I heard preaching here. Somebody say even folks on Section 8 got fast car. I got to leave you here. Uh, but uh, that was his step. Uh, I want you to know that uh, I saw a guy. He was sitting in a Corvette. And uh, I asked him, I said, well, what's on the dash? He said, it doesn't have numbers on the dash. They are digital numbers. I didn't ask him, but he said he had up to 180 miles per hour. Uh, now, I don't know about you, but that's too much paper to be running that fast. Uh, you do know they're not made out of anything. Come on, talk to me here. Uh, when I used to young folk, run high speed, the road get now. And the best way, don't y'all try this, that I found to stay on the road is spell that line. But God is still a good God. This man had status in life. Not only to have status, but let's look at his such. I won't talk to me here. Ah, he said, there came one running. He came running. To Jesus shows us of his sense of urgency of his need. Ah, the Bible says he kneeled. That's right there, verse 17. Uh -huh. He kneeled down to me. Shows us that he understand that there's something special about Jesus. Uh -huh. It's right there in the verse. Is that right? Uh -huh. I asked him, uh -huh. good master, come on, talk to me here. Uh, what shall I do that I may inherit eternal life? Uh -huh. What he realized was, uh, that he knew that there was a life after death. Uh, is there anybody here that know that this world is not our home? We, I'm going to take the time here, are just few on to travel through. Is that all right? Uh -huh. All my hopes and treasures, uh, they lies on high. I got to leave you here. Uh -huh. This man thought that he could earn, yes sir, eternal life. What shall I do that I may inherit eternal life? Uh -huh. All the money in the world can't buy eternal life. If it could, the power, take my time here, of the rich man and Lazarus. Is that all right? The rich man, the Bible says, fast, he dressed in purple and fine linen. That something's left every day. Is that all right? But the Bible later on says, uh -huh, the rich man died, yes sir, was buried and in hell, he lifted up his eyes. Now, if he could buy his salvation, he would have bought it. But I'm so glad that God does not look on the outward of him. But God looks on the heart. Is that all right? Uh, I got to leave you here, but uh, salvation uh, has never been about what we can do. It's always about what Jesus did. Is that all right? Uh, I, I, I don't know about you, but it's either all or nothing. Is that right? You see, before anyone can be saved, 
We must come to the understanding of who Jesus Christ is. Is that all right? He's not just a, a moral man. Uh, a teacher sent to show us the way. Yes, sir. Ah, uh, no, he's far more than that. Jesus, let the church say Jesus, Jesus. is God in the flesh. Yes. He's not uh, a way shower, uh, but he is the way. Yes, sir. He's not a true dispenser, but he is the truth. Uh, he does not point out the path to life. For he is the life. John 14 and 6 says, now, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father uh, but by me. Yes, sir. Uh, the problem with people is their relationship with God is not what they are outwardly. Come on, talk to me. But it's what they are inwardly. Yes, sir. And I don't want to say something. Is there anybody here uh, ever been around pigs on the phone? Uh, uh, you can wash a pig up. Uh, you can perfume him up. Uh, you can put a ribbon around his neck. Uh, he look clean. Uh, but when you turn him loose, uh, he'll stay straight uh, and wallow in the mud. Uh, why? Because he's a pig, uh, and that's what pigs do. Uh, you can take a horse uh, and comb his hair, uh, put on makeup on it, uh, perfume it up. Uh, the car will look pretty good, uh, but it's still uh, going to decay uh, because the day it comes, uh, that's what courts do. Uh, a sinner uh, may turn over a new leaf uh, and look good out there. Uh, he may be, help me here, morally clean. Uh -huh. He may be a hard working person. Uh -huh. May pay the tithes and offerings. Uh -huh. But he's still a sinner. Uh -huh. And hard and he needs uh -huh. to have a Savior. Uh -huh. Jesus uh -huh. I want us uh -huh. to have him uh -huh. as uh -huh. our Savior. Uh -huh. Ain't God all right? Uh -huh. Jesus, uh, let the church say Jesus, uh, I said unto him, uh, why uh, uh, callest thou me good? Uh, there's no good uh, uh, but one, uh, and that is, uh, uh, that is God. Uh, all on, uh, thou knowest the commandment, uh, do not uh, commit adultery, uh, do not kill, uh, do not steal, uh -huh. do not bear false witness, uh -huh. defraud not, uh -huh. uh -huh. thy father and mother, uh -huh. and the young man, uh -huh. get your man in his mind, uh -huh. sticking his chest out saying, uh -huh. all these, uh -huh. that's all these, uh -huh. have I served from a used, uh -huh. then Jesus told him, uh -huh. send uh -huh. uh, one thing you like, uh -huh. Ain't God all right, uh -huh. go thy way, get it now, sell, uh -huh. what's a thou shalt have, uh -huh. and give to the poor, uh -huh. and thou shalt have treasures in heaven, uh -huh. come, uh -huh. take up the cross, uh -huh. and follow me, uh -huh. ain't God all right, uh -huh. this young man was sad, uh -huh. and he went away grieved, uh -huh. for he had uh -huh. a great possession, uh -huh. Good life, 
Oh, 
Somebody said, "Hey, now." 